All right, we're back. Picking right up where we left off. And I'm going straight to the power-up screen. I think this... Oh, shit, we need 5,000 gold. Is it worth it at this point? I don't even have enough to do that, so let's just go might. Let's go... I had something else. Uses weapons faster. Oh, I had recovery. That's what I had. So let's just pump these up. Yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll go with Gennaro again. And this time, we'll go to the library. And this is where shit starts to get pretty real because unlike the forest where we could go, you know, up and down forever, now we can only go left and right. <sighs> Maybe you've noticed, but there's a big green arrow and we want to go towards that because once we get that, I think that's when we actually unlock weapon evolutions. So this one, we want the whip for sure. Since it goes left to right and this whole stage is left to right, bruh, do I need to spell it out? I don't think I do. I'm going to go Fire Wand. I'm going Laurel. Fuck. I'm liking this change in music. I didn't remember that the different stages actually had different music, but this one's kind of off the charts. Banging, bitch. Another knife or the Pomerola. I'm gonna go Magic Wand actually because we'll get two of those. See the logic? Fuck. I think we'll stir we are still early enough in the fucking round where we don't need heavy damage from upgrading with a single item. Ooh man. Or Santa water. I'm at five upgrades. If I get one more that locks it in, I'm pretty sure you get six. I just love the Santa water though. I'm doing it. I'm gonna see how this turns out. I think we're getting close to the book. And that's going to open us open up a whole new world for us. A world you ain't ready for, motherfucker. 
It's right above us. Okay, it permanently allows to peek at discovered weapon evolutions and unions from the pause menu. Get these fucking wizard bastards. What I want to do is kill these uh, guitar playing skeletons on a broom. I don't know what the fuck they are, but they're shooting us. And when they shoot us, it slows us down, and that sucks. And they follow you from this point on. So instead of running away, what we need to do is charge in. Corner them. Let's go with the empty town. So first, let's look at the book. See, we have the magic wand and the empty tome. So if we can max out the magic wand, we're going to get uh, that web weapon evolution. And usually, if you just get one weapon evolution, that's enough to carry you to the 30-minute mark, which seems to be the, when the uh, timer maxes out for every stage. So that's what we want to do. Holy shit. But we don't want to do it like that. I don't even know what luckier means. I guess that's for chests or the, maybe the drops. I'm going to go one more projectile though because it's starting to get to the point where we need to just level up what the build is that we have. This is it. Okay, let's burn these fuckers. One more whip. I can't pass that up. There we go. So we killed both of them. That was really lucky. And I'm not going to say it had anything to do with skill. We want to upgrade the magic wand because that's what we have the item for to get the evolution. So, And I don't know if I've ever seen that. So this might be the first time I see that along with you guys. I think you have to get us to level 8. And if you can do that, then the world is yours. Mm. Let's get another knife. So we're actually doing pretty good here. Fire has one more projectile, or base damage up by 10. I'm gonna go with the Santa Water base damage upgrade. I feel like even though I can't tell, it's doing way more for me than I realize. Whip. Gotta be the whip. On this level, it has to be the whip. So let's get this thing. Let's level up a thousand more times. Empty tome. Yeah, I mean, fuck it. Knife. Whip. Magic one, one step closer to the Evo. Or the, you know, that's how cool people say the evolution. If you didn't know that, happy to enlighten you. You little fucking dumbasses. Nah. <laughs> Base damage up by 10, okay. Okay, magic wand. We pretty much every time we see a magic wand upgrade, we gotta just get it. 
because as soon as we can get that evolution better and I'm kind of excited to see what it is so is Castlevania just a open license what is that called where it becomes royalty free because I swear to God, all of these sprites are just Castlevania sprites. And <laughs> unless they are partnered with Castlevania, or the, you know, Nintendo, or whoever the fuck owns the IP now, it is confusing to me. That they could get away with it. But hey, it's cool. Maybe they've made enough little changes to where it's, it looks the same to me, but anybody who's like actually a Castlevania, you know, uh, aficionado would be like, ah, uh, the third button on his jacket is not is red in the game, it was blue. And maybe that's enough to get around copyright shit. Or licenses, I don't know how any of it works. doing pretty well here. We have a ton of magic wands popping off, yo. I feel like Harry Potter up in this bitch. Avada Kedavra, motherfucker. Speaking of which, um, I saw that new... Hold on a second, this is very important. One more projectile. So we need... I saw that new Hogwarts game come out, and from what I've been hearing, the buzz, it looks like it is a solid game. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Harry Potter fan. I did read the books when I was growing up because they came out as I was basically the age of Harry Potter. So that was cool. That was pretty sick. Definitely some classic literature for children, yo. Know, young adults. But I didn't go much farther than that. But, you know, I still appreciate the world building, the character depth, the evolutions, the evos. Like Ryan Gosling said in The Big Short, I'm jacked. I'm jacked to the tits. This is insane. We're leveling up crazy. One more projectile or base damage up by 10? That's the question. Let's hope we made the right choice. I think we did. Projectile, up, or base damage up by five for the whip. Now we got to take the extra projectile. But don't throw him out of fucking stage, man. Come on. Dude, this is a solid run. Knife, fire wand, let's go knife. Ooh, 
we could even get the evolved whip. We have to do it. Okay, so now we're looking for whip upgrades and magic wand upgrades. Maybe this will give us both. Okay, it doesn't look like it, but maybe we'll at least get one. Mm, no, but we got Santa water and that's been kicking ass. So, let's see how far that gets us. Fire wand. Let's just stick with the build we got. So let's increase the fire wand's damage. Oh yeah, that's gonna put us over the edge. Let's take that stop clock and just start mowing down these bitches. Damn, this has been a good run for just finding shit in lamps and furniture. That helps us out. Magic wand. Okay, is that enough? We got level 8. Base damage up by 10. Okay. So the next one we find should be the weapon evolution. Fire Wand or Laurel. Max damage up by 10. I think we're going to go with this. You know, I wonder what the meta of this game is. Like, at a certain point, are you so good at avoiding enemies that you don't even go with the laurel anymore and you it's more beneficial to just put out more hurt boxes on the screen? I don't know. That's all stuff we'll find out, I guess, as we play longer. But it seems like with this character and maybe getting that extra projectile upgrade as well, like you could get to the point where you're throwing out so many items, nothing can even touch you, and it's just a waste to even spend on the laurel because effectively you're, all of your weapons are a shield. Which kind of feels like where we're at right now. And especially once you are like regening health fast enough, you don't even need a shield. You can just take damage, it's no big deal. I'm going with that cooldown. I might be picking shit that's... Okay, okay, we're going whip. I might be picking more of a riskier build. Like, there's no defense going on, but... It doesn't seem like we need it. At least not at 13 minutes in. There it is, the evolved magic wand. Our first evolved weapon of this series. Evolved Magic Wand fires with no delay. Holy shit. So it's just constant Magic Wand going out. And it's doing really good damage. I wonder if we can just walk forward into the fray. Maybe we can't walk. Yeah, maybe we can. Okay, let's go with whip now. If we can get whip evolved, nothing is killing us, and we're gonna make it to 30 minutes. Like I said, usually just one evolved weapon is enough, but if we can get two. Okay, whip upgrade. Santa water. What does Santa water evolve with? We don't know. We can see whip with hollow heart. So we know we're on the right path with that. As long as we can get that, then we might not even need it, but I sure would like to get it. Golly gee, I sure would like that.
reduce our cooldown. Not that it matters for the magic wand, but for everything else. Actually, man, I should have thought of that. Probably would have been better to go with something else, because our magic wand already doesn't need a cooldown at all. Look at this, we're just walking through. Nobody can fuck with us. They're trying to. But they can't do it. They're literally crying, dude. They're crying. They're like, oh, I can't. <laughs> Breaking down in the parking lot. On their knees, crying to the sky. But dude, sorry. Geppetto's too cool. Man, so I guess if I had to recommend a like a build path towards a new player, I would just say, hey dude, unlock Gennaro as soon as you can. Let's go Firewand up. We got a Medusa on the way. Is she going to actually turn us to stone? damage. Okay, cooldown. Nice. Okay, so that was like a boss enemy. Killed her like it was nothing. No remorse. Oh, evolved whip. Alright, we're set. I don't think anything is touching us the rest of this round. Critical damage and absorbs HP. So you're basically doing extra damage, and any extra damage that you do becomes your health. Yeah, we're fucking set. Let's get this up. Jesus, I didn't even see that that was hitting me. But you know what? It doesn't even matter because our whip heals us now. This is what I'm talking about. <sighs> and we don't need to recover health because we heal ourselves. So let's inflict, let's raise the inflicted damage. Popeye style with some spinach. What the fuck is this? Evolved Fire Wand. I've never seen this. Passes through enemies. Wow, okay, so the I guess that's what the spinach combines with. I guess we might as well get the clover. Should we increase base damage by 10? I say we increase base damage. Dude, our Fire Wand is crazy now. So we have three evolved weapons. I don't think I've ever had this many evolved weapons at run at once. Not even in my old playthrough. Gold fever. So this is what? We kill enemies and we get more gold? Let's do it. Or is it gems? Is it... I can't tell what's causing it. Is it gem pickup or is it enemy killing? Increase health or augments area of attack. Like I said, the health doesn't matter. Let's just augment our area of attack. Plus, maybe it will combine with some other weapon. I don't know. Ooh, 
what I do know is that we're shitting on these hoes. Get base damage up. What does our weapon evolution look like? Okay, so candelabra with axe. Spanish candelabra with fucking rainbow bubbles? I don't even know what that is. Whatever. We'll worry about that later. This is insane. Let's kill this guy. He looks big and bad. Maybe I'll drop a treasure chest. He can't even touch us anyway, so <laughs> why not? Yep. Another candelabra. Should just increase our base area, yeah, yeah. Okay. So now all of our items are fucking huge. Do we dare? Oh, we dare. Look at how huge our fire wand is. Meteors. Bro, this is insane. Nothing can touch us. And there's a treasure chest that just appeared over here. Did I snipe a hoe from all the way over wherever we were? To all the way over here, wherever we weren't? Is that possible? Alright, let's get the laurel. Fuck it, we'll take it. And just like that, our HP that we just unlocked filled up. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of the whip in this game, man. Once you evolve it, it's like, you can't even die. Okay, for what it's worth, even though we're not taking any damage, I'm upgrading the Laurel. I know at the end of these levels, if you can make it that far, maybe I don't even want to ruin it. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll just, if we get there this time, you'll see what happens yourselves. But, I've heard rumors that not everything is as it seems. And maybe if we increase our Laurel, we can uh, do some cool shit at the end, too. Laurel. Yes. Another charge. So now we're up to yellow laurel shield, man. You ain't never seen this in your life, bitch. This kind of defense, this kind of offense all in one?
that we really don't even need to worry. We have so many charges of the war, we can just walk forward. Um, I mean, shit, why not just increase armor now? Which I know I said armor before is dumb, but maybe it's not. All base area up by 10%. Let's do it. We're swinging out of this world big now. Man, if we can get full spinach and like everything else that we have in our build going on. Our character might be so powerful that they'll escape the game. They'll come into the real world. They'll reign supreme over us mortals. So we need to be careful we don't get that powerful. We need to get right below that. Man, if someone is jumping in right now, because I'm live streaming this at the same time, so if someone's jumping in right now and they have no idea what this game is and they're jumping into this, I feel like, I feel sorry for you. Your brain's probably exploding. Okay, another spinach. Nothing can touch us. Look at the damage we're doing. I fear nothing. Nothing in this game, man. <sighs> I'm gonna go with the armor. I'm gonna experiment with it. I wonder if um, evolved weapons can evolve with each other. If you get, you know... Maybe that's just crazy talk, but if you get enough evolved weapons at the same time, if they also combine to make other shit. Look at that, I just walked through that group, I didn't even give a shit. I wanted to get down here, that's just the whole point. Reduce damage again. And maybe armor is the secret uh, is the secret unsung hero of this game. Passing through everybody doing insane damage. This green witch bitch. She thinks she's gonna do something? Is she really? Oh, it's pathetic. Actually she's taking uh she's taking it on the chin. Armor upgrade reduces income damage by one. There, the upgrades are nothing if not consistent. 
Max health increase, why not? We're like extremely tanky, but also extremely DPS-y. Which means damage per second. If you didn't know that, fucking noob. You just die and drop a chest already. Didn't even have decency to drop a chest. Okay, let's see if we can hit max level, or maybe we just did. I don't even know what max level is. We still have three minutes left before the round is over. Fuck, man. Alright, let's recover more HP. Okay, so yeah, we hit max level, so now... We're just going to try and get as much gold as we can. Every level up we get to choose between the floor turkey or the ground turkey or whatever. And a gold bag. And we're going to take gold bag every time. Okay, starting to get a little dicey here. I uh, was not expecting this. Well, Laurel coming in clutch, after all. Just keep swimming, Dora, Jesus. Fucking hell. I guess the move is to just walk. Try and get the Laurel to come back. Man, our defense actually is helping out. Okay, this is starting to humble me. Humble me real quick. I don't even know where I am. I think I'm gonna die here. Oh shit. Fuck, 35 seconds away from 30 minutes, dude. That was a good round. Can't complain too much. And we have a bunch of gold to do even better next time. Let's check out what we unlocked. Hyper Inlaid Library, the Grim Grimoire Evolution List, Garlic. The garlic is really solid. The Duplicator. I don't know what that is. A dairy Plant, so that's the next level. The Pentagram, uh, I think is nice for endgame. Evolve the Whip. Evolve the magic wand. Evolve the fire wand. 
and unlock hyper mode for any normal stage. Nice. Okay, well, we'll pick it up again next time.